so yesterday we are looking into what is erp and why businesses are preferring for erp and we have seen different type of erp systems right so today let's say let's understand why sap is a uh, businesses are preferring for sap I, I believe we have already discussed that one right benefits of sap and all we have seen that one so let me just revise one time for you so see because of sap is having better integration and uh, integration with other model sap integration with other systems and uh, let's say you can have the sap in any of the operating system and all and you can log into it into different different languages let's say you are working in let's say you are working in india and you can log into the english language okay let's say someone is working in germany and someone is working in china so they can log into their language and sap will show them in their language their information will be shown in their language so language barrier also it is not there in sap okay so basically that is there due to which sap was widely used now in 2000 15 sap has introduced a s4 hana system or rather we can say sap has introduced a hana system so what is a hana system it is a new database that is introduced which is faster than others okay so there are uh, let's say new technology has been used where um, sap has developed a new database which is working very faster than the other database which were used before in the ecc system okay so in the ecc system we are using any of the database let's say oracle database or your microsoft database or amazon database so we are using whatever database is available so sql database so whatever database is available we are using that one so that was causing a lot of let's say performance issues so if you are working in let's say ecc system you can say or you can see there will be a lot of performance issues like um, when you are running some of the let's say some of the bad jobs or your background jobs you are running then some of the other jobs will be failing or let's say if you the bad jobs are running and then you are fetching a report it will take a lot of time right so that is the issue in the ecc system so basically in the s4 hana system they have used a optimized database which is let's say working more faster than the other database so how it was working so just for your information or just for an overview let's say they have increased the ram okay so now what is happening like if we take an example let's say uh, mostly you are using before time let's say before 2000 uh, we can say 20 or before 2017-18 when a, when you are using a mobile so mobile for ram was maximum was 1 gb 2 gb like that one right so there if you open multiple let's say multiple applications then it was becoming like it is freezing or it is hanging right but right now if we say about any of the mobile that is having 4 gb 5 gb 8 gb or ram when you open multiple applications also you don't see that lag so you you can open the application anytime like from the background also you can open it and we are not closing the applications right so the same way it is working with the s4 hana system also okay so they have increased the ram the same as the memory let's say you are having a 100 gb of storage and you will be having same 100 gb of ram okay so that whatever things you are using or you are let's say you're doing so everything will be coming to your memory interface okay so everything will be on memory so once you are saving the data will be going to the database data will be going to the saving database so just try to understand let's say you are having a facebook on your mobile okay so 
you open the face uh, you open the facebook okay so then you log in you do anything now till the application is running in your background so you can just click that or you can just bring that from the background and directly you can use it there is no lag right so when you close that application again you have to let's say it will take some time to log in and it will ask you the password and all if it is asking then that will be taking some time so same way it is working for the s4 hana okay so same way the memory distribution has been happened and memory was working like that one then it is working that's how it is working very faster so if you want to extract a report it is pretty much fast and let's say if you are having let's say other things are running let's say a huge number of bad jobs are running normally what will happen in uh, sap in the let's say not in sap but in everywhere let's say there is a end activity is there let's say month end activity quarter end activity and let's say your year end activity is there so a lot of finance tables will be getting updated okay so due to that what happened in the ecc system it got hanged okay so you cannot perform other activities or for one uh, background job other background jobs will be failed or cancelled so that is not happening in the s4 hana so s4 hana is pretty much faster if you try to use it it is pretty much faster than the sap ecc system this is one thing second thing there is a introduction of fiori apps in the s4 hana system now that's why it is called as a fourth layer of we can say fourth layer has been added that is a mobile interface or we can use a web based interface to log into the system or work into the system right so now you don't so before in the ecc version what is there so either you have to download a software or there will be a remote login will be there you have to go there and there will be a sap software and you have to access it from there right but now in the s4 hana what is happening directly you can get a link and directly you can access that from the web browser itself correct so that is one more way of let's say one more benefit uh, due to this uh, we can say uh, just a minute uh, sorry to interrupt you yeah. uh, what is the importance of fury app here yeah just telling that so normally see fury apps is developed for the end users not for the consultant mostly what is what is the benefit of fury app so now let's say you don't have to remember all of the t codes and all okay so before what is happening you have to remember all the t codes or you have to mark everything as a favorite so that daily work you can perform but right now what is happening so now see i will show you sometime later so see here you can see there is a screen is there right so here you can see similar way there will be certain we can say tiles will be there okay so certain tiles will be there so directly you can click that tile and it will open your let's say whatever work you are doing it will open for you and for that like we are assigning let's say t codes before what was happening based on the work schedule or based on the working category we are assigning the t codes to them so here there will be certain let's say roles will be there let's say you are a purchaser okay so related to purchaser whatever t codes or whatever tiles will be there directly they will be assigned to them let's say you are working as a inventory manager so based on the inventory management whatever tiles are there it will be assigned to you okay so so that's how it will open like whenever you open a fury screen it will open the screen like this one okay there will be screens will be there or there will be apps will be there directly you can click on that one and it will open the screen directly you can enter the like whatever data you have to maintain you have to maintain and you can save it from there so that is one benefit of the sap fury because it is 
developed on the UI platform is user experience based. It is developed. So that is the user easiness of working and all it is used. Second thing, you can open that on a web browser. You don't need a laptop or desktop. You don't need that one to open the Fury apps. So because of that one, what is happening now? Let's say after the 2020, now you don't have, let's say one situation, you don't have a fixed location to work. Let's say inventory manager. So they don't want to, or they don't have to sit on a desktop and see whatever works are there so directly if i give them a mobile or give them a tablet and there they are having the access of um, let's say their apps or they can look whatever work they are having so directly they can go into their log into there and they can check whatever activities have been assigned to them and directly they can do that one so just for an example let's say there is someone from the warehouse okay so before what was happening you need to log into the system and you need to see whatever activities let's say um, what materials are there you need to um, do a goods receipt or whatever materials are there you need to issue to the let's say um, issue to the let's say outbound delivery or let's say production order you have to issue so you have to log into the system and you have to check in a desktop you have to come to office and there you have to check okay there will be a certain place will be there so right now that concept is not there directly one device will be given to you or let's say one rf device is given to you so directly you can check in the rf device or directly you can check in the mobile devices okay now mobile devices are there md concept is there so that will be there in um s4 hana so normally you can log into that mobile devices and there you can check whatever work have been assigned to you so directly you can come to your uh, let's say let's say come to the warehouse and directly you can perform your task you don't have to go to somewhere uh, to some desk to see whatever activities are there and all you don't have to do that one that is one thing second thing you can do the web-based browser so you can access it from anywhere right so there is no constraint that you need to have a laptop to log in okay so there is no constraint of login from only one system you can log in you have the link you can log in from any of the system so now from 2020 like we are having the work from home, home option so same way let's say the end users or let's say sap users are also they can have this option of work from home so directly from their home also from the home system or home mobile also they can perform their activity let's say you have a approval to do okay you don't have to log into a system and you do the approval directly from the mobile device you can do the approval okay so that is basically these are some of the benefits of sap s4 hana okay right now this is used that's why it is used mostly the first and foremost benefit is your system performances okay system performance is higher system performance is higher then there will be let's say ease of working we can say the second thing is ease of working third thing we can say that uh, it is faster than the uh, previous version so that's why also it is used and uh, now if we say about the negative of s4 hana only the initial cost or the implementation cost will be more than the previous versions because let's say we are saying that ram size we are increasing okay so same as your memory size we are increasing the ram size so now everything is used in ssd okay before we are using the let's say hard disk version we are using that is also running very slow so right now we are having the ssd version so that is also that cost is also higher so that's why the initial cost will be higher for the companies or businesses so for that one sap has provided the subscription based plan also they are providing like you can see there is a public edition is there public uh, we can say public version is there right so s4 hana public edition and s4 hana private editions are there you know, public cloud private cloud these concepts are there so if you are going for a public cloud then you have to do a subscription based plan 
like you don't have to um, buy the software and all you just have to let's say log in and you can use it like you are using uh, let's say any of the let's say you are using a uh, facebook so facebook is free so likewise you can just take a subscription uh, what can let's say you are taking any subscription of any music app or or any let's say uh, you are having this amazon prime or some applications you are taking a subscription you are not downloading the software and all so you are taking a subscription and that subscription will renew so same way it will work for the um, as for hana public edition okay so you don't have to implement the like you don't have to install the software and all in your system so directly there will be this query links will be there and you can directly how many users are there based on that you can just do a subscription and uh, you don't have to worry about the upgradation and all okay like in your mobile what is happening so you have to download the software like whenever there is a update is there so you have to download it and you have to update it but in case of if we say about facebook or let's say your gmail or google they are automatically updated like so you don't have to update them they are automatically updated so similar way if you are taking a uh, let's say public edition so when the sap is having a newer version they will be automatically updating your system they just they just will ask you that check your system or test your system if that is having any issues or anything it is having so you have to just check that one otherwise they will be automatically updating your system okay so details we will see that in the project classes we will see what is a public edition private edition how what are the activities are there what is the private edition implementation public edition implementation so we will see those things in a later period okay so basically this is the benefit of sap s4 hana why it is right now mostly used due to we can say mostly two factors we can say one is ease of working second one is performance better performance okay so that is there any questions okay so if no questions are there then we will be closing today's session we will be connecting on monday and we will be starting from the topic like what is sap mm and what are the different uh, let's say concepts of sap mm so we will be starting from that one